say, by the way. Well, Connor Store are winners, lads. Doesn't really mean anything, I know, but boom. Well, what a fantastic race that was! Absolutely loved it. But Natalie, do you think we see Connor Sport next season? Rumors say maybe not. I hope so. I feel like they deserve it. They've been box office for me. They've taken chances, they've been bold in all their moves, and ultimately, that's great for us and for the fans. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, but there's not much of the season left, and they'll be hoping they can carry this form into the final stages. Time will tell. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers... No mention that Cali just won the race. This, no. So it was a reading of the script. Wow, Kelly, a really strong performance out there today. Just tell me though, how big a role did the safety car play? Yeah, I mean, I really fancied my chances after the safety car. Obviously, it's going to really disrupt the race, but I was able to take advantage of it today. Um, I saw an opportunity and I went for it, and it worked out well. Callie, your first F1 season is nearing an end. It must feel like a long road, but clearly you've put a lot into it. And is there anyone else that's been particularly influential this season? <laughs> Aiden is an option. <laughs> um, I've got Casper to thank for so much of this. Um, he was there for me in F2 last yeah. season, and he was the one who fought so hard for my Pretty, season. Pretty dumb question. <laughs> Without him, I may not even be here, so cheers to Casper. Mm -hmm. And tell me, I'm not sure I could do it, but how has it been working so very closely with your family? Yeah, it's been a challenge. Um, let's just say we've all got our own opinions. Uh, Family is never straightforward, and that's especially true of mine. Mm. There are rumours circulating that Connor Sport may not be around next season. Can you comment? Um, that sounds like a question for our investors. Uh, I'm sure we'll get a public statement on the matter. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, chapter 17 at Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So, yeah, this is the last one. It's probably about the same amount of time, give or take a chapter. Okay, or so two. we are running two quite different setups out there today. And you don't need me to tell you how it. You don't need me to tell you how it. Davidoff, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry. Get out. What on earth are you talking about? I've had an entire season of you whispering in people's ears. I'm asking you to leave the meeting. You can't. Uh. This is not your team. And after today, it might not even exist. So get out and let those of us who actually care about the result do our jobs. Go on, Casper. We'll talk about this later. Yeah. You can threaten me after the race. <laughs> so be it. See, nerd. Coming, Devon? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I might actually stay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. Well, well, that's up to you. Well, I certainly like this new Devon Butler. <laughs> okay, listen. You all know what's at stake. If we race as individuals today, the team dies. I think the team's the gonna die no matter what. It looks like Davidoff might just pull out now. Coming back next season together we all understand this no no Aiden Callie look at me you look at me we understand this yes if you put yourself ahead of the team today there's no more team 
and they probably look at Aiden more when he says that. <laughs> Is that Maldonado I just Callie. saw? We got this. Yeah. And, um, I'm sorry if I was ever. Hmm. Wow. What? Are you apologizing? Yeah. Yeah. I will forgive you on one condition. What's that? You get your share of the points. All right. Deal. Fair? <laughs> Absolutely fair. Turn up. <laughs> Aww. Ah. It's he's he does that, Cal. He he does that. <laughs> if it can, what remains of it? Oh. Hey, did you find him? I didn't look too hard, to be honest. Does Davidoff ever sell? <laughs> Can't you imagine? Listen, I hope I haven't caused you problems. I snapped it. It was unprofessional. Not at all, Casper. It was a delight to watch. <laughs> you think right. it will affect his decision? Yeah. I have given up speculating, Cass. At this stage, nothing would surprise me. Right. Yeah, well, we better get that result then. I guess we better add. And good luck today, Casper. Whatever happens, I'm so grateful for all you've done. Oh. Look, it's it's been my pleasure. Connor Sport deserves to succeed. If the fates are kind, Casper. If the fates are kind. <laughs> I'm trackside. I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll be a few minutes. Miss that team needs to finish fifth. To secure funding for next season and those rumors have been repeated by more than one source inside the camp it speaks to a team that's become nothing more than more and more disillusioned with its own future as the end of the season draws near it's tore out and it could spell the end but even if they were to secure fifth place is the team itself fractured beyond repair i think all the articles in the press all the social media attention has been focused on the various rips yeah recalls by me most of Rampant speculation that comes from season might be its last. Formula One fans of a certain age might be reminded of a distinct land gone by in the 90s. Back in the 90s, there was an influx of teams that tried and mostly failed to make their mark on the competitive racing landscape. Among those are massive names. The names constitute a long list. A long list. Life, Andromoda, Pacific, Simtech, Forty, Lola. And perhaps the biggest of those names that failed to establish themselves is Lamborghini, who tried their hand being a full constructor under the name Moda, or Modena. Is it, it's the same one, isn't it? No, is that different? Ah. Not just an engine supplier, which they were at the time, their dark blue cars were striking, but never really challenged the established runners and riders. And they disbanded after just one year and departed the sport as an engine supplier in 1994. Consequently, sharing the density of ill fated teams. Upon its 2009 debut, Abu Dhabi has served a, served a season finale and did so too the following year. Teams of drivers that were at the time were immediately complimentary of the new circuit, but Yas Marina had to wait another four years to resume finale duties as it proved tricky to remove Brazil from its popular season end of spot. After 2014, its position was made permanent for a long-term deal that remained until 2030 at the earliest. Huh. Should every, every race should be a night race? No. Wouldn't work. Then you made to do what you had. No floodlights, no fancy clothes, no cluster sponsorship deals. Proper racing. If the sun was setting, tough. You had to deal with it. Eat more carrots. Today's crop of... Pranford megastars could learn things from this experience. This Nigel Flattery is a douche. This Nigel Flattery is a complete douche. Like he has no idea what he's talking about. I mean, there's a racing circuit at night. These pairs of darkness may be a random flailing floodlight. Current Formula 1 is too easy and such so dramatic settings would spice it up. Think you know Monza Silverstone? Think again. For example, I was racing in junior car. No one gives a shit about you, dude. You're an ass. Get lost. You have no idea what you're talking about. Just do one. <laughs> anyway. Let's start for grabs. 
Just want to say it's been absolutely pleasure to work with Connor Sport. Oh. What does that mean? It's over? Say it then so, Devin. Hmm. He's trolling as usual. Usually they'll survive. They've done really well. Yeah. Callie and I know what we have to do, and all we make is how we do it. Oh. Hey, good luck out there. We're all Connor Sport fans right now. I've even swapped my lucky Red Bull cap for a Connor Sport one today. Don't make me regret it, Aiden. Hmm. This Danny's just showing up at this point. This place is Connor Sport. This is. I've taken the I've taken the time limits off. All the kids, tablets, and the misses is under strict instructions not to invade the paddock. <laughs> I'm all set. The bedroom. <laughs> I only started watching the phone because of all the news about Callie joining. Now I'm hooked. Can't believe we're almost at the end of the year. So Callie has bought an influx of fans in. I was watching classic season after this all event. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> really wasn't sure about Callie's first join, but she's really proven herself, right? I'm really considering saying my CB to Connor Sport to be their strategist. I'm going to use all the crayons I can find. I should, I should be a shoe in. <laughs> Bang on Australia. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Just seen Davidoff at the Connor Sport trailer. I'm surprised he's showing his face around here right now. He can't be popular figure. I want QB from Verstappen, no surprise there. Yeah, so there's no idea but they've had a lot of their minds. I've got a lot of faith in Ackerman. He managed some great performances out of both drivers this year, just one more to go. Okay. Aw. Hey Cash, just got off the phone to Callie. I don't think we need to worry too much about checking on her anymore. She seems far less preoccupied with her dad. Didn't mention Devon once and I and didn't care about all the press. I think all we can do now is put our faith in her and let Callie be her. Good point. Whatever happens, you couldn't have given the team any more than you have. Looking forward to having you home. Lil says hi. Oh, just confirm a slightly higher angle of attack today, as agreed, Kai and Ada are both happy. Just want to let you know that the whole team is grateful for your support. A lot to deal with. Nice. Yeah. I've just had Davidoff in the office and he requested we drop a short list of candidates for team principal. I asked if it was confidential and he said, we're all friends. So I guess it's fine to let you know. Must be regarding something not, I'm not privy to. To the race weekend, for the last time in this, this story. Well, it's really not to the race weekend, we only play races, but... You know, before the race begins, anything is possible. Anything. On the one hand, you have the true icons of the sport, certain drivers, certain teams who set the pace, who you expect to do well. On the other hand, you have the underdogs. Hmm. And we are always there, always pushing for another place, another point, looking hmm. for the smallest opportunity, the tiniest mistake we can punish. And in that moment, just before lights out, it's like, it's like the world holds its breath, you know? Everybody just waits. The air is heavy, you know? And I knew whatever happened, corner sport had made its mark on the history of the sport. Mm -hmm. huh. And I was at peace with that. So you weren't nervous? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so we know how it stands right now, but just how different might it be when the checkered flag waves here in Abu Dhabi? That's an awesome shot. And it slides out, and away we go. That's very TV esque. That is a lovely shot. That is a great shot. That's that's commendable. Okay, Aiden. Let's right. see if we can start moving through the field. It's time to push. Come on, you've got this. Copy. Copy that. Mm. 
Hey, it's only 15. Uh, We're back here again, but in completely different vehicles. Our gap behind is 3.1 seconds. Well, he's off gas for like seven seconds. I always wondered what the um, Alfa Romeo logo is supposed to look like. It's kind of puzzled me over the year. I've been like, what is this supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be either the kick sponsor or one of Jules' personal sponsors, I think. I like Abu Dhabi. I, like, I think I prefer it more now than what it was before. So Williams had already been lapped. It's only about six. It must be Sergeant. Must have had an incident somewhere. Kind of in the middle of the track there, what was he doing? Oh dang it. I thought I could get away with that. Okay, you're in the top 10. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 4.5 seconds. What were the... I wonder what the stipulations were. Like, have we got to finish in a certain position to grab it and how many points do we need over whoever's behind us? There's really kind of no stipulations or anything like that. Before if it gets like really quickly. I've always thought on this track that the AI really good down the straights, and that's even before like this year. I think that's always been the case. Probably me running two high wings, maybe. I think that's probably been one of my problems, you know. Always going for default setups, because I don't understand how any of the setups actually work. Because <laughs> I'm stupid.
again the lighting is really good the nine tracks certainly do benefit from the updated graphics this is a beautiful looking game you can't really dispute that even though it's only a facelift on a very old engine it's still a commendable effort for sure definitely Jackson Vintage move around the outside Now what? What if Ain's going to drop out? Down the actually, main straight we go. Here goes Jackson again, moving up the field. What a great race for him! Yeah, yeah really to Cali is so now. far, Croft. I mean, it's a circuit he really enjoys. Remember the race in 2021 that he put together there? It was fantastic yep. stuff back then. Nice Who reference. Could forget it. Connor Sport need a performance just like that today. May is doing okay. Jackson really delivering. Great stuff, Aiden. Come on, I think mm. we can get one more place here. Push, push. Uh, Come on, buddy. Right. Assessing, assessing. Stand by. Aww. Losing speed. Heading down the back straight now. He's in a great spot, but hang on, he's no. slowing. He's slowing. Something is very, very wrong. This car yeah, is he's a got a problem here, Crofty. I wonder what it is. Could it be engine related? Look, they're throwing their hands in the air on the pit wall, and he's out. And yeah, that's the engine gone. 2023 oh, is over for Aidan Jackson. It's a dramatic exit, and it wasn't what he was hoping for. Now what? Something happened out there? Yeah, engine failure, I'm afraid. Aidan is out of this race. It wasn't his fault, Cal. Repeat, Aidan's out of the race. Did you get that? Aidan's out. I heard. What? Let me speak to him. What? Why? Just give me the heads there. Do it. Do sure it. About this? Do it. I'm sure about everything. <laughs> That's what concerns me. <laughs> Kelly. Devin? Yeah, we've had a chat. We think it's best if you uh, don't push the car too hard. Huh? Why? Look, you're way back, Cal, okay? We, we don't want to blow your engine too, so just, just cruise it in and finish the race. It's got to be realistic here. Copy. Sorry, is this a team order? Casper uh -huh. agrees. I see what he's, he's not doing. That much ground, it can't be done. He's playing 4D chess. Just cruise it in, Cal. Uh, he's inspiring her. He knows. He knows she will. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. He's, he's, he's literally banking on the fact that she won't listen to him. <laughs> it's like screw this. I'm going for it. I'm sure. He's inspiring her because he knows he won't. She won't do it. She'll go for it. 